Here at Perth Racing, obviously fashion plays a vital part in every single event. And we're lucky enough today to have racing fashion royalty from Perth here, Annabelle Davey. Annabelle, Hi. talk us through race day routine. So that's really, it's an enjoyable experience once you get the hang of it. So normally on a race day, if I'm entering fashions in particular, I'll start with makeup. I'll do that at home usually, just to get into my vibe, have some brekkie. Then I'll head off to the hairdresser so they can place these wonderful creations. Um, head back home, pop on the outfit really slowly. And that's when the stress card starts coming on. Um, and then head over early in the morning, just so you can be here. No need to rush. Um, registrations, all that kind of stuff. And then you're good to go. Now you've won a lot of awards here at Perth Racing with us. Talk us through the biggest award you've won. Okay, so the biggest would probably be Maya Fashions on the Field Spring. So I was lucky enough to win the WA title wow. a couple of years ago, which involved, you know, traveling interstate, um, meeting other national finalists. So I was one of five girls that made it to the national final and ended up placing second. Wow. Yeah. And what did you wear that day? Okay, so that is probably my favorite outfit of all time. It was the first outfit I'd ever designed by myself. Um, a local designer, Steph Ordino, actually put it all together for me. So I actually sketched it out, um, picked all the fabrics and the colors. Steph made it for me. Um, and I had Rennie Kestel also make a beautiful blue hat. So the dress was vibrant red, the hat was baby blue, um, and it was just really a nod to Spanish fashion. Um, and I took inspiration from Beck Judd, who's also <laughs> great to wear royalty. <laughs> so it's probably still my most favorite outfit. So we don't need to talk budget. Yes. How do we make sure we're award-winning but on a budget? So it's a really good example today. I'm in ASOS and LaVisa accessories. When you told me that I couldn't <laughs> it, but I was like, excuse me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so this was actually on sale. I think I got it for around $70. Wow. And my accessories, as we all know, LaVisa is very affordable, accessible yeah. and affordable price point. Um, so I would say whatever suits your budget, you should really look to fit in what you're trying to achieve because it is possible. It takes some time and a bit of hunting and a bit <laughs> of sleuthing, um, but that's half the fun of it. You know, looking for bargains, looking for things that you really like, even going to vintage stores. Yeah. Some of the best pieces um, accessories wise are vintage and they're about a dollar, two dollars. Yeah. So, you know, you never know where you're going to find things. Um, but in all honesty, it depends what competition you're entering. So if you're entering a national competition, generally the stakes are higher. Yeah. So they're going to expect a lot more um, refined, um, a lot more considered in terms of your accessories and how you pair it all. So I would just say, set a budget for yourself. Don't go over it because it is possible. Yeah, 100% <laughs> yeah. it definitely yeah. is possible. I can see it in every way, shape or form how I could just <laughs> Blow that budget okay, in. Yes. <laughs> well, one blow. Um, any outfits that you've worn, have you repeated them? I haven't repeated a full outfit, but I've definitely repeated aspects of them. So whether it's the dress with a different headwear or the headwear with a different outfit, the reason why I don't repeat is generally I'm entering. Yeah. So if I'm entering a competition, I usually put that in the archive and it's sort of special to me because this is almost like my baby. It's I like love a trophy. It. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, it's almost, you feel like you've won already because you put so much effort into it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I sometimes mix up the headwear with some casual pieces when I'm just attending the races um, or just supporting other friends. So never a full outfit repeat, but from time to time, a couple of things sneak in. <laughs> so the outfits are pretty out there. Yes. Are they comfortable? <laughs> some are. Today's is very I comfortable. I can breathe, it's great. Yeah, today's <laughs> great. Um, but not all are. Yeah. It depends on your fabric choice as well. My number one tip though, and I think it's so cliche, you may get told to wear comfortable shoes and it's so important. So yeah. obviously backstage can be a bit tense or <laughs> intense. It's a bit scary, isn't it? Going on a runway for the first time. Yeah. Tell me about the atmosphere backstage. I think, um, I mean, I'm one of those people, I'm an only child. <sighs> so I'm really comfortable being on my own and just being in my zone. Um, and if it's a really hot day and you're in a fabulous outfit, you kind of just want to rest. Yeah. So I do my best in just being calm because yes, it is nerve wracking. People are judging you on how you look, 
Um, so I tend to just try and be chilled, but a lot of girls, you know, if it's their first time or second time, they are a bit nervous and it's nice to kind of bring people together and, yeah. you know, say, you're fine, we're all in this together. Um, but yeah, it can be tense for some people, but I just like to, to relax. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> so when can we see you next on the Fashions on the Fields? Well, I'd definitely be here for Melbourne Cup Day. Um, fingers crossed, fashions goes ahead. Yeah. Um, but yeah, all the virtual competitions that are happening at the moment are They're so exciting. awesome. Yeah. Especially if it's someone someone's first time. Yeah. It's a really good sort of entree into what's going to happen hopefully next year in real life. We'll be back on the catwalk we'll next year. Back on the catwalk, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll be here for spring racing at Perth. Beautiful. Can't wait to see you coming up very soon. Thanks, Brady.